What's that you say? Have a drink? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Eves underscore Apple 7916. I see you. Official, official Derek Tuggle. I see you. Who's out there being unofficial Derek Tuggle? Fuck that dude. Uh, Miss No Slick Name. I see you as well. We out here, y'all. Let me start the pinning before we get to winning. Uh, you want to follow. Boom. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube, y'all. That's that's how we want to do that. That's how that gets done. Boom, we post that. Then we on the business. Then we on to the real stuff. Ooh, Shawnee, I see you. Bermuda's in the house. Where your twin at, girl? Go get her. Breezy JJ's, I see you. Miss Shonda, cheers if y'all are doing it. A little tequila in the afternoon. Never hurt nobody. That was a double negative, which means it always hurts everybody when you drink tequila in the afternoon. Uh, let me go ahead and plug in these headphones while we wait for Shangadang to come in. This is Savage AF, y'all. All right, we are the show that says fuck your feelings because that's how we feel. You know what I'm saying? Seba313, what up, though? Um, we're here on IG Live. Let me plug in right quick. Oh, Miss Adverb on time. Just in time, too, girl. We're about to close the door. <laughs> Uh, we're right here on IG Live, guys, Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Friday, 3 p.m. It's Friday, so that's why we're doing it. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. These are Pacific Standard Times, okay? So just stay up on that. Um, if you miss us live, you can catch the audio wherever you get your podcast with iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. <laughs> um, and then if you want to catch the video, well, that's what that pin is all about right there. For, you know, if you can see it right there, right there. Um, that's to let you know that you can go on YouTube, follow Savage AF Podcast, and, and, and subscribe. And then hit that share button and tell your friends about it. Tell your mom and grandma want to see this. You, you know grandma want to see this. Come on now. <laughs> you know, you, why are you keeping her in the dark? In the dark, in the dark, in the dark. You let her out. Come on, man. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Savage AF. You know what it is. Spotify. That's right, Miss Adverb. Our sergeant at arms, uh, Eve, Eve's underscore Apple would be uh, basically like our uh, COO, chief operational officer. Uh, Miss Adverb is sergeant at arms. Um, RVA Gourmet, that's our uh, secretary of education. We're building a nation here at Savage AF, okay? But pretty soon we will be an autonomous society able to function on its own. Mo running mostly off of tequila and weed. That's what it is, man. Shang is in the building now. SRNC is in the building. One of our favorites. She's a SRNC is head of marketing. Okay, she be plugging us so hard, and I love you for it. Thank you, thank you, my lady. We love that. Um, Shang Dang's in the building. Let me see if I can just request him right quick. Boom. Boom. No, it's not letting me. Here we go. What's that doing? It, oh, here we go. Going live with Shang. You best believe it. He's coming in. It's gonna happen. Boom. Hey, what's Hit going with on it. with it, man? Get him with it. Get him with it. What's going on, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at A. Pammy uh, Poo is man. Hey, Pammy Poo, I see you, girl. Come on in. Have a seat. Um, yeah, man, you good, dog? You you you, you doing a little well, better? Well, you already know what it is. Yeah. I mean, it is. This is this is the nature of the beast. This is the world we live in. This is the two motherfuckers having a simultaneous thing. It was. Biden on one end and Trump on the other. And I used to think I thought it was a shitty move, but now that I look at it, it's kind of a cool move. Well, because you got to you got to see the this beat, this gonna, dude just fucking fall apart. And I loved gonna, it. We definitely going we definitely going to pop off the show with that. But um, let let's get into the daily run up then, so that we can uh, go ahead and, and just discuss so we can jump in. So we can jump into this. The hot biscuit. So, there. And, the hot biscuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The uh, hot, the hot, uh, uh, it was a hot turd. That's what it was. It was a shit up. show. All right, so uh, we're we going to end today's show, and and we're going to talk long about the first topic and talk long about the last topic. We're, we're going to end today's show uh, talking about a white man's world. and It's a white man's world. And, and this is sort of just a personal theory. But it wouldn't be nothing. <laughs> right. A personal theory about why white supremacy is not actually for white women. And I, I think we'll have some arguments about that. 
But we're going to talk about that, y'all, all right? You shut up. You are so wrong, Pedro. God damn it. I'm You're a... so wrong. Don't let me get Karen, foul mouth. get off me. I Stop it. Don't let me get foul yeah. mouth on you. But before we get into that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I know, foul mouth. Let, Filthy. Let, Filthy. The, let the motherfucker burn. Uh, Trumpy Dumpty, uh, his admin is blocking California wildfire relief. But before we talk about that, <laughs> we talk about how, <laughs> like, how it's signed and sealed. Right, um, your boy Trumpy Dumpty is out here floating conspiracies about Obama and Biden killing SEAL Team Six to uh, to cover up the fake killing of Osama bin Laden. Oh yeah, yeah. We gonna talk about that. Yeah, that's 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 something definitely need to be addressed. But be- yay, yay. But before Can't we say yay, yay, no more. Because I, I excuse it's fucked man. up. No, no. <laughs> uh, we got- <laughs> We just got switched to uh, Dub C's now. Like, what's up? Uh, yeah, we got to go that way. Just go full yeah. life, like Mac Chan, full life. Yeah, uh, uh, but I know we're going to go over the other stuff, but check this out, man. Roland Martin just schooled the shit out of him whenever you get a chance later tonight. Look at the video between Ice Cube and Roland Martin. It looked like it looked like a, a, a professor talking to a kindergartner. It was just, it was bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, for, uh, apparently, a, a Hershey, a Hershey spittled <laughs> kindergartner. It was AJ yeah. Fitz said his face looked like uh, somebody chewed a uh, Hershey bar and spit on him. But uh, <laughs> that's fucked up. All right, but, that's fucked up. But speaking of getting spit on or shat on or Hershey on, uh, last night I, I called for a boycott of NBC because yes, their their competitive town hall was some bullshit. Um, and we still could have seen what we saw last night um, back to back rather than versus each other. Yeah, um, versus each other. It was such a shit show. You know, you got you got a, a, a an even killed Joe Biden. You know, regular white guy shit. Some 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 political slogan and 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 some heartfelt stories and you know speaking like a human being. Yeah. And then although I did boycott NBC, hope you did too last night. Uh, I did watch clips and, and read some articles about it today. And I'm going to go ahead and say that Savannah Guthrie, uh, the, the moderator of the town hall, uh, she, served, she, served, she served your boy some hot biscuits, man. She, she gave him. She, she was killing him. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You can't say that. Like, and her mic was as loud as his mic, so he couldn't talk over her. Yeah. And he, she just, she, every time he tried to, uh, what, what, what? what? Uh, and every time she was just giving him the business. What is that a left? Is that oh shit a left and a right? It was just. I think that she was the best person that I've seen check him at least pertaining to the moderators out of all of them. Well, I think I, I feel like the Jonathan Swan interview that uh, he did on Axios. Oh like, yeah, with Axios. That, that was like our first. I never felt like that was the first reporter to really get in his ass and be like, right, better than the world. He was looking at charts like, oh, you're, you're fucking up the stats, <laughs> you know. Um, so he, he was getting in the business. But Savannah Guthrie in this much larger public setting, network television, you know, not cable, not Axios, not a slice of media. But this is the national broadcasting company. Um, you know, she, she gave him what, what I think they would call in the business, the business, you know, um, asking tough questions, challenging him on things. Um, I mean, she couldn't, he couldn't even denounce QAnon, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he, what's you know, QAnon? He's like, I'm against pedophilia. I know they're against that. So that's good. Right. It's like, he does that with these groups. Like he'll, he'll highlight some slightly positive aspect of it. Like, well, at least they don't eat donkeys. And you're like, well, okay. <laughs> but they the hang, fuck does that got to do with anything? black like, people from trees. And you're like, well. At least they don't put bananas up the tailpipe. <laughs> what? I ain't falling for no banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. It was like, what the fuck? There was times where she just nailed it, and he just looked like he wanted to change the subject. And she's like, no, no, motherfucker. You're going to keep telling me. Like, she wouldn't let him off the hook. And I think it was good to see that. And even though it was a dumb move for NBC to do it on both and uh, over a hundred different journalists and more than that, um, journalists, uh, producers, on and on, um, hit up NBC like, that's kind of fucked up. You're getting that money grab, but I get it, but it's kind of fucked up. Even now that I look back on it, go, yeah, he kind of needed to fail epically 
with just him on the stage, like just show yeah. who he really fucking was. Yeah, it was with the with it the, was it was it was a shit show with the strong woman. I mean, she goes. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna read some quotes. She was like, at this point in the pandemic, uh, knowing what we know, shouldn't you have known better? Shouldn't the White House know better than to hold an event like that? Speaking of his his um, the the super spreader event, and his right. response was, "Hey, I'm president. I have to see people." <laughs> and she came back real quick, like. You can see people with a mask, though, right? <laughs> like, are you wear how are you wearing your mask that you can't see people? Yeah, you know what? You know what that was when I when she did that. I thought I remember that. There's a video that went viral. Was a whole bunch of brothers going. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I thought when I when I saw that. I just was like, she just clocked him. He didn't see that did you, one coming. Did you did you take a COVID test the day of the debate? I, I, I probably did. I mean, I take a lot. I take one the day before. I probably took one the day. I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't remember. I don't know. If I took it. Yeah. Like, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? Uh, hickory dickory dock. The, the mouse ran up my ass. I don't understand. <laughs> what? Hold on. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Seriously? Is there anybody else? It was just such a, um, uh, you know, it was it was a shit show. I miss Adverb all upside down and shit. She's talking about, I don't know what that's. She said uh, he wears it wrong. She's talking about Trump's. Trumpy Dumpy's mask, all upside down and shit. Uh, Yoshiko White, we see you. Um, so I, you know, I while I while I don't appreciate NBC going in this with this competitive time slot, um, right? In watching him fail, I do I do see the the value of that. Um, at, at some point in the clips I was watching, I got I got fixated on on this on this sister. In the in the background, not on her head, like over his left shoulder in the background. And when he was saying bullshit, she was just like, "Hell no, 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 yeah, no, hell to the no, hell to the no." And so it got interesting. Jay Rich five ten, what up, though? Make sure y'all follow him. Very funny, brother. Um, yeah, hey, Jay Rich, Jay Rich, uh, you owe me, I owe me two hookers and uh, a pair of shoes. And he's, so uh, he's serious about his bitches, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want my I want my hoes and I want my gators back. You mm -hmm. understand me? And I know you got them. I don't know who else you're around, but I need my gators back, baby, because I like the way they make my feet feel, baby. <laughs> I don't know why you got to do the fingers. You got to do the fingers. I like the way they make my feet feel, <laughs> which is kind of creepy. I feel like uh, I'm, I turn into Brundlefly. Uh, look, <laughs> somebody's gonna know who the fuck that is. I don't is. know that one. You got one past me. Uh, Jeff Goldblum in The Fly was called the Brundle Fly. He would talk to people if you if, if, if you stay, Hilarious. I'll hurt you. Okay, <laughs> I, I didn't realize you, got, you never like, seen The Fly. I, no, I saw. You it. Never I just didn't. I didn't remember or realize his name. He had a formal fly name. Like his name was Brundle, Doc. Brun oh, Doc. oh, so Brundle Fly. Okay, I get you. Okay, all right. Now, I'm yeah, ready. and I just I, for some reason that when I did that, I remember Jeff Goldblum. His acting and it was always opening his eyes really wide and go, "Hey, if I take the fly and I do this and I put it up on Pence's head, will <laughs> everybody look at the fly?" <laughs> yeah, and so just like I'm that. sorry. Thank you. And scene. Thank you, guys. No, no, please, please, don't. No more. I, I'm good. No, no, no more inboxing. How amazing that was. Just leave it alone. Um, I think that um, stop reading half my comments and trying to come for me. It's uncool, man. I wasn't coming for you, Miss Everb. I know who the fuck you are. Stop it. You know, I know you did back. I know you did backyard fighting. You were in the backyard fighting scene oh, up in the Bay Area, also down in Miami. You used to run under Kimbo Slice's crew. I'm hey. not trying to fucking start no shit with you, Miss Ever. And if yeah. I did, there wouldn't be a motherfucking thing you could do about it. How about that? But uh, I, I no, mean, I. You know what? No, I'm gonna go back to the topic. You got, you got, you you got, you got Miss Ever, the sergeant at arms, uh, turning against the show now. <laughs> She's like, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, I read half the thing. I she apologize. Burn the show down, you know, right? <laughs> I know she'll burn the show whole shit down. Please don't. <laughs> Uh, our, How about we burn the whole motherfucker down? Fuck hey. your show. That's what your feelings is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, hey. Hey. She said, she said dance off. Down. She's challenging you to a dance off. Oh, see, I do that with me. You have no idea who you fucking dealing with. Our I'm Diego, sorry. Hey, welcome to the building. You are late, so I need you to take Miss Averb's seat in the corner. All right. Right. Uh, but welcome. 
Um, but you, so, what I was going to say to you is, and I want to see what you thought about it. I think that she, you, I mean, I personally think she really did do the best pretending to a host, keeping him, fact-checking him in real time, making sure that hard. he understood, no, motherfucker, you're not getting away with just hard. glossing over shit. The fact that he didn't answer anything pertaining to Q QAnon and a couple of pretending to abortion, when they asked him about it, and he's like, I put her in there so she could actually overturn Roe versus Wade. Oh, my God, am I speaking out loud? I thought that was in my head. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, she, she, so, I, I was good to see a woman take him to task and just beat him up, to be now, truthful. Now this, I think she beat him up. And this, Savannah Guthrie, I know you follow us all the time, so we appreciate it, and I know you're listening. So this, this is the one thing where I do want to call her out for uh, erroneous facts, right? There, there was one point where she failed in her fact-checking. And that, and it leads us into our next topic eventually, but it was regarding his, his retweet uh, Trumpy Dumpty's retweet of a conspiracy theory um, regarding Obama and Biden and SEAL Team 6, right? And, you know, she was like, you're the president. You're not someone's crazy uncle where you just retweet whatever. And Savannah Guthrie, as powerful and intelligent and on point as you were, this is the one statement that you said where you are absolutely wrong. Because we can all just go buy Mary Trump's book, his niece... <laughs> <laughs> he is literally someone's crazy uncle who retweets whatever. Like, <laughs> you don't, he, she said, you're the president, you're not someone's crazy uncle where you just retweet whatever. And I'm sorry, Savannah Guthrie, but he is absolutely someone's crazy uncle. He actually and is. He does retweet whatever. He doesn't. Whatever. And, and AJ I, Fit I, in the building. Yeah, what up, AJ, AJ Fit. You are also late. AJ sir. Deborah. Give me and 20. Ms. Adverb said this. 20 push up Ms. Adverb right said he's late. He's late. I told, he I, needs I, to get up on the pole. Get up on the pole. What's she trying to? They trying to get you to strip out of here. I just twenty push-ups, brother. That's all it takes. And I know that's nothing yeah. for you. He'd probably do them on his pieces. Yeah, and shit. Uh, yeah. He do them on you his pieces. You know what? Thank you for coming, brother. Wakanda forever. Listen, yeah. no, I think that uh, I think you're right. This that she could have actually you brought that into play. But I think that no, no, that I mean, little misstep. I'm joking. Her, her, her. I'm joking. Her, her point is. You should act like a president and not be somebody's crazy uncle who retweets whatever. But, you know, I, I'm being facetious here. Yeah, obviously, she was being on point um, and, and calling him out. But factually, he is technically someone's crazy <laughs> uncle. I'm just, you know, I'm, if we want to get semantic. If we want to get, you're right. If you want to get really. If you want to get. If, if you want to get in the weeds with it. Yeah. If you want to get in the weeds with it. Mary Trump, his niece. He's somebody crazy, uncle. Oh, did you she did you see the last interview she did? Oh yeah. She went in she went in even more than most people like, no, no, he's been racist. You mean you've heard him say that? Yes, all the time. Like, are you really are you like she I looked like she wanted to tap on the glass, like, are you not listening? I told you this before. I oh what what? When people do that, eh, eh, you, you didn't know what? That's what she was doing. She killed him. But I think that, you know, that the separate, the separate fucking, you know, they're both shit shows to me. But okay. Biden came off much more sensible, more empathetic, That's always much happen. more policy. Yeah, but much more policy driven. Yeah. Like he actually talked about, you know, act, you know, policies and things that can be done and reversed from the shit show that we've been going through for three and a half, almost four years. So, uh I, I do like out of the two, I don't know. Obviously, Trump's got bigger ratings because people like to see the crazy, the crazy dude waving his underwear in the middle of Times Square. Like, yeah, who wants it? A helicopter. Woo. You want to see the crazy <laughs> motherfucker. But Biden, Biden was absolutely a little bit more. I'm not a lot I mean, more, I mean no, he was he was, he was a, a, a normal human candidate as opposed to, you know, dickhead Tron. Um, ladies, ladies. All right. I know Ms. Adverb done started some shit, but the comment section is not a male strip club for AJ Fit to be on a pole for y'all, right? Leave the man alone, all right? We ain't out here objectifying y'all like that, unless you, unless you want to get up on the pole. I got, I'll do some, you know, I got some change for something strange, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, do it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, the man, he, he ain't no pole dancer, okay? So let, 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 let's right. stay focused, ladies. Put your panties <laughs> back on. Put your panties it's back on. It's just funny how, it's funny, it's funny how, like, he really didn't do anything wrong. And Miss Adverb's like, ah, oh, fuck it. You want some? Like, <laughs> hey. Hey. And then the AJ Fit came in. And she was like, stripper. <laughs> like, 
What's up? Focus. They got stripper and then Donnie B. Oh shit! Savage, Savage is really going savage. I'm like, no, 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 oh, not today. Okay, the Bermuda two have united. Um, Donnie, you are late though. However, no cheating off your sister. Okay, get in the corner. Um, yeah, we yeah, are get savage in the corner. AF. Fuck your feelings is our slogan. We're here at IG Live Monday through Friday, guys. Stick with us. Um, so when Savannah Guthrie was like, you're not oh, so also, also, before you do that, got to say this. I didn't say this. Make sure you guys that are actually on the page follow at Black Pedro. Okay, we want him to top off on the, the thousands. And, that comedian and we got to do that. So um, um, at Black Pedro. And the other thing is make sure you subscribe to the podcast. I mean, the, subscribe to the podcast, but also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, the YouTube channel is only a week old. It's up right now. We appreciate you going there. Subscribe, check out some older shows, whatever you want to do. Maybe take clips from it, share it. Um, a Savage AF podcast on YouTube. So make sure you do that, all right? And then uh, I, I want, well, you read this one. You read a couple of these, and then we'll go on to the next one. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to uh, say. K Fields. Yeah, I wish yeah. Uh, Trump got ratings because those who are voting for him didn't feel the need to tune in, but wanted to hear what craziness forty five had to say. Um, I also see Eve's underscore Apple in here. She's like, "So what did I miss?" We were talking about uh, Savannah Guthrie serving hot biscuits to a uh, Trumpy Dumpty in that town hall uh, last night, and and how spectacular she was. Um, and we were ending that conversation with her questioning of his retweet about this Obama and Biden killing SEAL Team 6 to cover, yeah. up, to cover up their fake killing of Osama bin Laden. So there's this conspiracy <laughs> theory out there that oh, it was a body double and not the real Osama bin Laden that was killed. Uh, by, so, look, hey, there's a Negro behind you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right. That was, by the way, that's my, my oldest. That's uh, I have two boys, and uh, that's Cameron. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's Cameron, and then I have uh, my youngest, Xavier. Yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's this conspiracy theory that that. Uh, I'm trying to not laugh. The way you said that was hilarious. Look how this is <laughs> A real live nigger in your house. <laughs> like, like what? What? The, right. Where? Right. Oh. It's the media. Um, <laughs> so, oh, so there's this, there's this wild conspiracy theory uh, that it was a body double and they didn't really kill Osama bin Laden, SEAL Team 6, that is. Right. And then Obama and Biden had seen, seen SEAL Team 6 killed. <laughs> I guess by SEAL Team 7, I don't know. Who kills? Like, who do you hire to kill Navy SEALs? Who do you hire to kill? Yeah. Uh, do they have Navy Orca or some shit like that? Like some other level of fucking predator? So, anyways, I, I, you know, I don't even know how the conspiracy world is, is trying to piece this together. Um, and well, the, the idea that Obama it. and Biden killed an entire SEAL team, like, I, I'm like, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> it's just one. It's Bruh. just more bullshit. It's more QAnon bullshit. But guess what? At the end of the day, there's a percentage of people that are actually going to believe this bullshit. And the other thing is, all the other allegations pertaining to Biden, Biden and Obama, especially Obama, all of them, all of them have been debunked. All of them have been thrown the fuck out. All of them are like, when you hear the motherfucker on TV go, by the way, all of the charges, they're not real. And the other people are crazy as cat shit. Hopefully, they'll be kicked into the middle of the street by a horse and then hit by a taxi. Taxi. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> like, <laughs> it yeah. was so insane, the shit they were saying. And it was so insane watching him just squirm in his seat. Like, Trump even <laughs> sat, he, he was squirreled down, like, real sitting, like, hmm, this lady's being mean to me. Hmm, shut up and be a hooker that I pay off. I mean, like, yeah, his, like his his explanation of it, his explanation of, of it, his defense of him retweeting was, it's a retweet, which I assume he means, I didn't write it, and then he goes on to say, like, you know, I just put it out there and, and let the people decide or whatever. Um, 
And like that's the point, dog. A person of influence can't uh. just be throwing bullshit out there unless you want it to confuse people, unless you want to muck up the situation, which he obviously does. But the idea that which which it actually works with his base, so, with his base and following. Um we got I E a new some new people on here. I.E. I. E. dispensary. Seven one four. Seven one four. Yo, we need sponsors with Roll the weed. Holla at me. I've been tr trying Roll to nail up. one down. So if you got a weed sponsor, we yo fuck with us. We get a lot of following. We got a lot of people watching this shit. Holla at your boy. Looking, Inbox me. Looking for a liquor sponsor too. You know what I'm saying? Corn yeah, we, we want we want a liquor sponsor. Corn <laughs> looking liquor. for somebody with some liquor. So uh, yo, but uh, no, I just really think that I, it was a good look because one, I got to see her go full ham on him. Two, we got to see him just get fucking twisted into a pretzel. It was great. I was sitting there going, ah, oh, then ask him about the hookers and ask him about he was fucking around on his wife while she was pregnant. Let's go deep in the rabbit hole. Fuck him over. Oh, shit, his nose is bleeding. Keep hitting him. I know that's fucked up. Yes. It's, I mean, it's, I, if, it's true. I mean, at the point when she has to ask him if he can see with his mask on, uh, yeah, I think she was in his ass. He was in his but ass. The, the idea that for him, it's like I, all I did was retweet. It's like, well, retweets are either one of two things, as far as I can tell. It's either an endorsement of what you're retweeting or you're putting it out there to criticize it. And in no way did he criticize it. So he must be endorsing the, the theory, right? You know what I mean? Like, why else do you right. retweet something? You either believe in what's being said or you disagree or, with it and you want to call it out. Do, is there a third option? Right. But no, no, he absolutely agrees with it because he's a he's he's crazy. He is the crazy old man with the comb over. He's the crazy old man and everybody knows that. And but right now the election's still close. We got the most votes. They said one of the most people voting early. Twenty million. Um twenty million votes. Huh? Twenty million passed so far. Oh, yeah. So you got to look at it that way, people, here on Savage AF, uh, brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Forgot to say that. But make sure that you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to YouTube right now. Right now, motherfuckers. Right now, motherfuckers. Right now. OK, that's my song called Right Now, Motherfuckers. And um, it's uh, if go to the YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. It's called Savage AF Podcast. Search for it. Find it. Click it. Nigga. Do it. Bam. <laughs> Nigga, yes. Do it. And we need a we we need a wine endorsement too. Yes, we do. That K is right, K Field PR. Plug them. We em. need a plug them to us if you got them, baby. Plug them. A I mean, wine. So any of you wine distributors, I'll, I'll we ain't a, mad at you. I'll do a tasting. I, you know, I got I got some wine knowledge, so I'll, I'll do a tasting with y'all weekly. If, if somebody wants well, to Well, I'm send never us gonna wine. drink wine and drive again. I'm never doing that shit again. Yeah, that man. was the most crazy. I literally thought, I'm not gonna make it home. I can't. It was it was scary. It was scary. I'm never doing it again. Or I'm just gonna let somebody ride me. I'm gonna do Uber. Right. See, here's what now Miss Adverb is trying to direct us. She's like, Pedro, sit on that couch. I wanna see something. No, you owe, I know what you're doing. You you're trying to screenshot your own porn over there. You're trying to get AJ fit on the pole. Yeah. Now you're trying to get me on yeah. the casting couch. And I've been in this town too long. And I like what you're doing, girl. You sexy. You stupid. Shut up. Call me. Um <laughs> Shut game. up. Inbox me. Uh, <laughs> Some all yay as fuck. That's right, RVA yeah, Gourmet. We're going to pop that, pop that. Uh -oh. Pedro, you got a message. You got a message from K Fields PR said, I'm going to set it up, Pedro. Let's go, K Fields. Let's go. We got this. We can do this, girl. I was sawing my ass off on you. Um, Eve. What's up? Yeah, she's in the building. All right. So, you know, th th this is this just to end up the Savannah Guthrie plus the SEAL Team 6 thing. I think we, uh, we're just seeing that when when we can actually put Trumpy Dumpty under a valid working microscope like a Savannah Guthrie, like a um, Jonathan Swan. Um, I even I even think that honestly Chris Wallace was trying to buck back at him during that first debate. Um, do, uh, do you think do you think so? I think well, that he he did let him slide a little bit. I think well, that the, also, even in the VP. At, yeah. some, at some point, though, there was a, a battle between Chris Wallace and Donald Trump, too, which means that Chris Wallace was challenging him. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, could have been could have done better. But it was especially from a Fox talking head. Um, it seemed like an, an earnest attempt to corral the president. So when we see him through microscopic lenses like that, uh, the the exposure of his insanity, I think, is greater. So. 
Um, I, you know, I do now realize the value of the opportunity, although I don't appreciate the timing of NBC doing it. Um, it this was a good look in terms of just exposing him. You know what I mean? TK575, you are very late, young lady. You get in the corner right now. Okay. Hey, 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 know what time hey, 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 but no, I think that the main thing that with the conspiracy theory bullshit, which we know that they're going to continue to do, it's so crazy with two weeks left before the vote that what is the last week in the last three days going to be with Trump? He's already been in one of his rallies, one of his Nazi fucking rallies, because that's the way I look at him. The only thing they're not doing is when they say lock her up, lock who the fuck up? You're not going against fucking Hillary Clinton. It's Biden. Only thing they're not doing is the high Hitler. That's the only thing I'm doing because they're telling any person of color has to be go back to their country. They're still chanting that shit. They were in Florida and they said that he mentioned um, one of the senators and, uh, you know, and it was just like, go, you know, go back, you know, go back to your country and all that other shit. It's going to get really fucking weird. Now, once if Trump loses, because he is down by 12 points, if Trump loses, I just think his people are going to go buck wild, man. They're already shooting people. They're already shooting people. There's a, a young kid, kid felt motivated to go across country, state lines with a fucking AR. And literally, he, he ended two people because of what Trump, the cult, and I agree with you, AJ, he's definitely, it's a cult. He, he maimed another guy's arm, too. So it's like two and a half or 2.25. Oh, oh two. shit, that's right. You're right. Oh, yeah. He, uh, they, I, I actually saw a picture of his arm. Did you see it? What on? It happened. What it on? was yeah, it was yeah, it was bad, man. So obviously people are that much into the cult of Trump that they will do something that would be like, you know, straight up civil war. That's why I'm glad that Pedro has Leviathan. He almost on the twenty fifth, I'm going to pick him up. No, you said well no, like no, like I think a week, a week from now. Uh, we are nine days away. T minus. <laughs> oh, it's not that. No, yeah, but you, you'll, yeah, I, yeah, you'll have it soon. Um, but that being said, uh, yeah, TK, if you didn't know, when you're late to class now, apparently uh, Miss Averb is gonna make you shake that ass on the pole. AJ fit three sixty five. She tried to make him do it. Uh, now Miss Averb is telling AJ to go shake his booty in Eve's uh, face. Uh, motorboat her with your booty. Miss Averb, I need you to stay focused, girl. Okay. <laughs> you, you, girl, you on booty shake right now? Okay. Go yeah, and get another it's Friday. You then, know what? It's Friday. I know, and people get kind of crazy. Um, school and, and out uh, for yeah. summer. <laughs> she's, she's trying to Woo! get out of here. Come on, everybody. No, but look. At, but right now, if California is still around, because <laughs> the shit, the, like you said in that thing, I'm looking at it now, man. It's like, man, Cali is having problems, bro. Yeah. Um. So speaking of Cali having problems. And and the title of this story, Let This Motherfucker Burn, uh, the Dumpty Administration is uh, blocked funding. That was as of, for California Relief, that was as of yesterday. Uh, but yesterday, magically, he reversed decision, and now FEMA is going to give California emergency relief money. Nigga, what was the holdup, dog? I mean, this one well, of them he, things. It, it's a blue state, because yeah. it's a blue state. He don't want to help any blue states. But fire's red. And I'm going to tell you right now. The, fire's red. Fire, fire's red. Fire's yellow. But <laughs> this is wild shit. Like, you people that don't live in California, me and Pedro live in California, like, literally, like, maybe five minutes away from each other. And the fires were so bad, it clouded the smoke. And it's not near us. The smoke clouded the sky, mm -hmm. where it made the whole sky orange. It was that bad. It was literally that bad. I think it was my landlord. No, it's not. My, yeah, it is my landlord. I'll call her back. Um, yeah. Speaking of whole, wait, real quick, I want to address something before we get into the, the fire, because I'm noticing now what's going on. Eve's underscore Apple, where she at? Um, I'm really trying to hold on, but this shit is getting more and more difficult. Amen, sister. But I want you to know that we are a community here. Uh, and when we say fuck your feelings, we mean they feelings. You know what I mean? Our feelings are real to each other, right? So we are a family, girl. Uh, hold on. Where are you going? Where are you going, Eve? Don't don't leave. Come on back, girl. Come on back, Eve. We here with you. We here with you, girl. We got you. What? Yeah. Why are you out? I'm not. Like, watching, what? I'm not sure what happened. Something happened. But, wasn't us? Was it us? I don't know. But hold on, Eve. Hold on, girl. Stay strong. We are all here. We are all yeah. at our limits for sure. Everybody. 
Um, but that's why we have a community that we talk to daily, Monday through Friday, to try What's and work up, this shit out. Work, try and work this shit out. So, um, well, you know, yeah. So the, the the situation where Dumpty is trying to block anything that goes to a blue state, um, bitch McConnell is trying to block stuff that's going to a blue state. Um, anything to go to blue state, he blames blue states because they weren't nice to him. Governors that didn't talk nice to him, and then because he's got a lot of bitch in his chest. And when you have bitch in your chest, there's a very good chance somebody will wipe their butt and smack you with the dookie hand. Dookie so, hand. yeah, dookie hand. So I just think that it's just. It's just bullshit that he actually is getting away with this. And the entire fucking Congress and the Senate does not just go, he's out of control. You can't do that. You're the president of all the fucking United States. All the states. Not just the base. And you can't let California burn the fuck up because we don't like you, bitch. We, Ugh. you know, it's like, and this is one of those, this is like a record setting year where you, We've just never seen this state on fire like this. There was like tens of thousands. Hey, pretty on the left and the right. Uh, welcome. Uh, get on the poll. You are late. Um, but <laughs> Miss Averb already said it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, we, we've seen like tens of thousands of dry lightning strikes. Like I didn't even, I've never even heard of this shit. And oh, no, no. It looked like, a, a, did you see the video footage of it? They're just going in. We need more polls. She said we need more polls. <laughs> when you see the video footage of this shit that happened in California, and I'm not, like, embellishing, it looked like a special effect. Like, the lightning kept hitting. Like, there was a spaceship about to land, and when spaceships land, sometimes a, a, a lightning hits the ground first, and then, you know. And I was sitting there going, that can't be real. Did that just happen? And then literally another one a minute later. Then another one, then another one. And so and California one. was having so many fires back to back and the level of fires. Of course, the fucking federal government's supposed to give us money. Of course, when people's houses and fucking are burnt down and the insurance is not going to cover the entire amount. What the fuck? And people are still riding with this motherfucker, especially, hey, black people. I understand black people get to like, well, I want to make it. You can't tell me what choice I can make. And I'm going to ride with Trump. And the motherfuckers that's voting for Kanye West, you can eat a dick. You could eat a giant fucking dinosaur, brontosaurus, donkey dick ass fuck. Are you serious? <laughs> Kanye yeah. West is getting votes. Yeah, no, he, he, I mean, he, you know, he, he, can't, he can't win. He's not on enough states' ballots, but he's on in a few states that could fuck shit up. You know? Right. I mean, it's just stupid. Kanye West, you really want Kanye West bipolar ass to be your fucking president, you bitches? You silly bitches. Anybody that's voting for Kanye West, I say it to your face. And maybe we got fist fight over the shit. A little too old to be fist fighting, but I'll do it. You's a bitch. You got bitch-like qualities. And I hope that a bunch of lesbian bitches beat the bitch ass off of you. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, really? You want the dude that wrote Gold Digger to be the fucking president? And he didn't even write Gold Digger. Gold Digger's actually... It's a very old. It was based on a very old song that I argued with my young friends that said, "Nah, that's all Kanye West." No, no. it's Ray Charles. Yes, and you can look it up for the motherfuckers that don't believe me. You can look it up. Oh, she's a gold digger way over town. That Big whole thing. Me. What? Yeah, that's a, a Ray Charles. So for the people that had hit me up on the Twitter and was talking shit to me, saying, "No, nah, you lying. We already know that's Kanye West. You just hating on Kanye West." No. That's really, that's really Ray Charles. So I had to get that off my chest because one of the dudes I asked to watch us on Savage, I sent him from Twitter over to us, and he said that's some bullshit. Was, I'm sorry, you're right, Kanye West. That's what Pedro called him, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, when Pedro said that, I went, how appropriate? Apropos. Yeah. Um, yeah apropos. What's not what's yeah. not appropriate is because we know now that. For weeks, for almost months now, California has been on fire. And uh, yeah, real shit. To, real to, shit. To initially block the funding, and then now come around just days before the election and approve uh, relief. Um, this is something that should have been jumped on. Rather than talk about how California isn't cleaning its forests enough, and there's no global warming, and oh, it's Democrats doing it. Demo you know, Antifa lighting fires. Motherfucker, just send FEMA in there. 
and give give the money to help put the fire out. Right. They said that people. They said that there was literally neighborhoods. I'm not. See, people think that I'm like, oh, you're just saying that because you're on a show. You're trying to push it. Literally, whole neighborhoods burnt to fuck up. Like, Town. like your neighbor's Town. neighbor's neighbor's neighbor. Town. The whole build, their building burnt up, and then the next building because the fire. Literally, there was one fire, and they interviewed him because he he had to take him for. Um, was it smoking smoke? What is it? Is it smoke? smoke inhalation? Yeah, where he had yeah he was fucked up from that. Then he got COVID, and he luckily he was young, strong dude. He he recovered, and he said, "I would sit there, I'd put out one, and I would see the fire literally leap from one house, like visually, you could see a fire like leap like a tube, and jump onto the next house. Yeah, like and and then and then the whole house would just get engulfed. So." I think that he was doing that. He's doing a lot of stuff last minute to say, hey, I'll give you some money if you vote yeah. for me. I got a I'll do this if you vote people. for me. I got money for the fire? Who wants some money? I got money. We got money. Yeah, you're right. He, he's doing it that way. Um, right. So, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's bullshit, and I, I, hope, I hope they all – like, the only person's house I hope burns up is really his house. I mean, and I want the White House to burn down metaphorically because I want – I think we need drastic fucking change. Yeah. Bernie Sanders, who I voted for – before, I, not this time. I, I mean, I'm going. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with Biden, but and I'm saying clearly, I'm down for Biden. He is definitely lesser of two evils. Bernie Sanders was right. We need to burn this whole motherfucker down. And AOC was right too. Where we need to start over with a lot of Rewind. shit. Rewind. Yeah, I mean, look at the justice system. The justice system is absolutely needs to be injustice redone. Rewind. Make sure he's better. It's horrible. Yeah. It is so racially biased. Even racists go, man, that's fucked up. That is. What you mean they put Pedro in two prisons? <laughs> the, the Pedro part, the and, Hernandez and, and part, the black. and the black part. So he's part of the black prison. Then they shift him the next week to the Mexicans. It's crazy. And he's not even Mexican. He's a Trinity. It's crazy. That's what's going on, man. That's what it it's is. scary. Well, speaking of racists. But you already know why. Speaking of racists and crazies. Um, ah! Wait, wipe the segue. <laughs> wipe the segue, young Padua. <laughs> uh, this is a white man's world, a European and American man's world, right? Um, James Brown had a, it, this is a man's world, but. It's a man's world. But I would add that it, it's. It wouldn't be nothing. It would, yeah. Yeah, it would be, it, we, we would have to add white, or maybe white was in parentheses in the lyrics, but uh, this is a white man's yeah. world. Um, and I don't mean that to, I don't say that to mean that they're better than anybody it's just that <laughs> trinixican yeah that's what i am so <laughs> saluminati uh but uh it's it's one of those things where uh <laughs> we should just make up words y'all all words are made up you but know what that that things. was uh that was uh that was good sula that was good that was good uh jab boom the structure the structure though globally is around white man europe stuff right um yeah I agree. So we have this thing, uh, and this is true, and I know RVA Gourmet has brought it up hella times here, and, and a lot of us agree um, that, you know, historically, you know, white women haven't been looked at as aggressors within uh, the white supremacist movement. But we realize that historically, they have always been involved, and, and today we just call them Karens. But they are part of that, right? S some white women. Right. Um, and, you know, I know Arie Gourmet has argued that, you know, basically white women are white supremacy. And I don't disagree with that in, in terms of participation. But one thing I do like to distinguish is that while there are a significant and have been a significant number of white women who participate in white supremacy, um, and, and, and some have gained from it. I, I still do argue and feel in my heart that white supremacy is not for white women. Uh, and here's why. There's, there's a story that I read uh, recently. Sorry, let me pull it up here. Uh, it's from The Atlantic. Uh, it focuses on a woman named uh, Lawrence. What's her name? Is her name? Lauren Southern. You know, okay. Very appropriate name for a racist white woman. <laughs> la, la, her last name is <laughs> as, as racist white women go. That's her last name. Good is, one. Is Southern. Yeah. Um, but for a time, she was 
And this is the title of the article in The Atlantic. Why the alt-right's most famous woman disappeared. And if you read the article, right, she's a straight-haired, blonde, white girl, you know, just your, your kind of quintessential Typical. presentation of, of Aryanism on the feminine side. And, you know, she was, she was propped straight up. Like, she was doing these YouTube videos, and they would start off as, like, a makeup tutorial, and then she would take lipstick and write fuck Islam on her cheeks. And everybody loved it. And they blew up on the, in the alt-right scene. It blew up on the thing. It, it went viral. But the, the, yeah, but, so, but she went missing, though. Well, no, she, she, yeah, she's not in the public eye anymore. And she, she is, um, you know, it, it's one of those things. She went on on, on, the, on the podcast with Gavin McInnes, who, who we talked about, the dude who started Vice got kicked out and, and, and began the Proud Boys, right? He's the founder of the Proud Boys right. and Vice. Uh, bipolar than the motherfucker, obviously. Um, and Tommy Lauren, is she basically is a Tommy Lauren. Yeah, she, she, but, you she, know, she, yeah. she, she, she was that or, or whatever, right? So Was that, yeah, she um, was that for sure. So she goes on the show. He, I guess the show has a bar set up and there's already, the, the male guests were already there and, and he introduced her to the show and they didn't even have a seat for her, right? So she, <laughs> she commented, she's like, well, this is the patriarchy right here. Men get seats at the table, right? She, she jokingly made that comment on the show. And <laughs> this is how he, this is how McKinnis responded to her. Are you ever going to have kids give birth? Are you going to be a mother? Then I'll give you my seat, right? He went on to say, wow. If you're not making humans, then fucking stand up, bitch. Said this to her live on the show. And she's like, hi, and they're like trying to be one of the boys. But as this article lays out, she, she just went through, and, and this is not the first story I've read about white women in white supremacist movements who eventually come to realize that these white dudes aren't She's about you. you. Yeah, these white dudes yeah. aren't about you. The Proud Boys what? call themselves a fraternity of Western chauvinists. Fraternity boys. Western white chauvinist dickheads, right? So and this, none of and that this is, is the thing. And none of it includes women that white women uh, does include white women or European American women or whatever the case may be. Well, we flux way back and forth on it. That's the way this should go. But end of the day, it's like a lot of times they just basically are saying to their face, this ain't for you. Down, and this ain't your shit. Stay in your place. This is for us. This right. is for us Play in our part. compadres that are right here. We're in the one truck. I mean, that's why we never invite you to the truck. I don't know if you ever noticed that. We're out there shooting people with paintballs and marbles and shit. You ever seen us ask you, huh? Listen, Diana, look, I love you. And I'm, I like fucking you in the ass. We're at home, okay? That's our thing. That's what we do. But when we're out here, you shut your mouth up. And if you don't have a baby hanging from your fucking pussy right now, mm. you better shut your mouth. You understand right. me? Yeah. All right, Bill. Hey, Bill, throw me a fucking Budweiser. Shut your face, bitch. Bun in, Whatever. bun out. That's all you get for you're an oven. You're right, exactly. Women's rights, you got the right to shut the fuck up. That's what you got to do. Hey, what, do, you tell a wo what, do you, what do you tell a woman with two black eyes? Nothing. You already told her twice. Hey, but it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no. That's how they think, you dummies. So, you dummies. And I'm saying it to the white women, especially yeah, so, the 56% that voted for Trump. You're a bunch of dummies. It's not for you, stupid. That's that, that, so, and, and that's what this segment is for on this show today, Savage AF, is this is a message for all those white women out there who are in, in, in the white supremacist movement, in the alt-right movement, who have these ideologies about Islam, about black people, about, about Islam, about or black people, black men. Ultimately, I want you to understand that historically, you have to fight white men to get your right to vote, to get your right to, whether you believe in abortion or not, to, the, the real right is to, for you to take care of your own body and to make decisions about your own body. And white men do not want you to have that right to do that, ladies. Whether you're black, brown, white, yellow, it don't matter, Puerto Rican, well, Asian. You know what I'm saying? It wow. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? So <laughs> You know what I was thinking just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. My name is Five Dog from the Zulu Nation. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it really doesn't matter what you, you know, what you think and how, how well you align yourself with those ideologies. At some point, they are going to check you because what this woman, Lauren Southern, eventually found, you know, openly members of the alt-right were like, she is, she is the best spokesperson, you know, because she's pretty. 
and she gets the message out. Wow. And, she, and she touches on hot topics, and, and guys will listen to her. But then, like Gavin McInnes, while being married with kids, according to her, hitting her up, like, yo, when are you going to let me gangster that pussy? You know what I'm saying? Like, like he's trying to fuck. Right you know, everybody and I'm not saying is trying to fuck her all of a sudden, right? And right. she's like, what's going on? All these guys. One of her supporters turns into a full-blown stalker. Is, in, is exposing information about her personal life and her family, following her around, trying to fuck, trying to fuck, trying to fuck. Try, so try, ultimately, right. And said that he'll stop. He'll stop doing that if you give me some pussy, basically. Yeah. I will stop exposing it if you give me some pussy. And that you got to think about that. Think about how that, now black women. I want to say to two black women that I understand that they you called women out when they came to Trump and the vote, but. It is, you say, well, well, black women don't get the respect that's due from black men and this and that, and y'all just the same. No, it is two different things because they are part of the, the, the racism. They are part of the racism. They think they're part of the party, but they're really not. So they're standing up for a right that they're not even getting themselves, yeah. which is the fucking thing. And, and Bill Burr got in an amazing amount of trouble for a bit he did. He said, you stood by us. For fucking centuries, while we did heinous shit, mm -hmm. you basically stood by us and and didn't call us out or nothing. You were like, "Yeah, Bill, go out there and hang as many niggers as you can. Make sure you bring home some milk." Yeah, that's basically what they did. Yeah. So I love the fact they're getting exposed for their bullshit. Well, yeah, and it, by the way, this is Savage AF. Finish the rest because I was looking at the time because I know. Um, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast, which. Pedro knows the rundown because I say it too fast sometimes, but he says it very articulately and smooth. Plus, he's very smooth. iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. You see? See how he do it? You see how he do it? And you see what he did? And then also make sure that you check us out on the YouTube channel, which is our new our new YouTube channel, which is actually go to YouTube Savage AF Podcast. Right. All right. Yeah. Cool. I want to get that out before we bounce. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So you know, to to all our Beckys, Karens, whatever we're going to Susans, however we want to name them, Abigails. Okay. Uh, yeah. Elizabeths. Goddamn. <laughs> Virginia. Yeah, Virginias. <laughs> okay. Uh, all you little queen, vir virgin queens out there. Shut um, up, Virginia. And 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 we we know the righteous ones when we see them. S R N C. She's one of them righteous ones, right? She she's not a Becky or a Karen. Um, right. But uh, for those who are out there, I really want you to start looking around your community of supremacy and see where you fit in, right? And and I I think that the 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 Karen Becky zone that that a lot of these white women fell into was understanding right. that you know a patriarchy is also a hierarchy, right? that puts men, specifically in our society, white men, and, and particularly globally, uh, on top. And at no point have white women ever been equal to that status, right? Even among their no, no, white male counterparts, yeah, they've, they've just placed you above us and above Asians and above a bunch of other people, but not above them and not even equal to them, right? So um, I need you to start examining that and seeing that, you know, um, and, and but a lot of them are indoctrinated, right? A lot of them, even this woman Lauren Southern, like she was in the mindset for a long time about, uh, you know, the 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 woman, you know, how ambition was was killing women, you know, like how work, like a career, was stressful on a woman's body and therefore stressful for procreation, you know. So totally in the mindset of I'm just a baby oven here. I I catch right. I catch semen. Right, no. I put uh, it in the shout oven. out to Big Laz. Big Laz on the in the building. What's up, Big Laz? Uh yeah. So, <laughs> uh so yeah, it's one of those things where um you know, she's she's totally seen herself. They get indoctrinated and brainwashed into right. just being cum ovens, you know, white man micro penis uh incubators. Yeah, and but, and, and they but, have no other role. And and within that, I just want I need those white women to understand that this white supremacy is therefore not ultimately serving you. No matter, yeah, it might put you above us on their right. Well, they post. always every every race tries to be above us because they feel like all of the 
all of their, mis their, their missteps, they feel like, well, at least I'm not black. And they've always done that. They did that with the Irish. They did that in New York back in the day where they was like the Italians, the Irish, and everything else. But white women, this is basically, this election is a wake-up call for your bitch ass, too. And I'm saying your bitch ass. And I don't mean, if, if it doesn't apply, you don't get mad, all right? It's like the joke. If I yell out bitch and you turn around, and then bitch, you the bitch I'm talking to. You understand? Just my you know, a real woman ain't going to turn around because you know she ain't a bitch. But the, the thing is, you understand this clearly. I think you still ride with it. But in this election, in this situation, it's going to come home. It's going to be the roosters going to come home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you're going you, you, you gonna to end up being way worse off than you think you're going to be. And, you know, that's why I think and speaking of the election, because, you know, we, we know that and, and J.R.A. J.R.A. NYC said the women's movement in the early 1900s uh, was started by black women. But K.K. Karen <laughs> and the Klan got all the praises. Uh, amen to that, brother. And speaking of this election, uh, you know, this is a hardcore ass fucking uh, they, we got yeah, some hard no, ass no, people. people go ham on here. But to, to all the Karens out there, we do want you to know that um, this election is important. I mean, you, you, you've got a Karen being nominated. She's going to be on the Supreme Court. And by, by all yeah. abilities to speculate, she's probably anti-Roe v. Wade. And you might be pro-life. But understand that those women's rights, it's not just about abortion. It's, it, it's about providing services and clinics for women's health in general, right? Like, that's not all Planned Parenthood was about. Um, that's right. not, it, and, it, and abortions also, aren't always about aborting babies. A, a, a lot of times they're about saving the mother's life. Some, some need to happen medically to save the what complications occur. And in order, and, also, and, and these, when, these people yeah. don't want to do that. These white men don't want you to have the right to do that even. You white woman. Beyond, don't even think about the black Chinese. They don't even want you to you, even to think about that because you got to look at it this way, okay? The white men want white women to get abortions. They don't, some white men don't want to have a baby when they're not ready. But they're like, well, we're going to control the whole aspect, 360 degrees of the aspect of what you do with your pussy and how you deal with your body and your fallopian tubes and your fucking uterus. So it's crazy to me that white women wouldn't step up and go, whoa, 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 it's 2020. Yeah, let's speak up for our rights, even though we are, you know, living off of your fucking, you know, the blood that you've split, you spilled. But they won't even do that because they punks they look sis like what we call sissy punk motherfuckers that's the dude that won't even stand up to the shit that you know is wrong that's what she that's what white women are and they and even though they don't even get to partake fully of the spoils of what they're doing yeah the, the shit that they're supporting so uh to all the white women out there and then you know why that you get upset. You know why your man gets upset is because Pedro around. They're like, God damn it, this goddamn Pedro keep coming over here and my woman keep looking at him. I swear to God. I swear to God. What is that? Uh, what, what did you say that thing was? A Leviathan. Hey, man, look, man, I apologize for anything I said to you in a harsh manner. All right. <laughs> Listen, Karen, you go take one of them for the team. Yeah. You see the size of that motherfucker? <laughs> It'll blow a hole through my asshole. And I'm, I don't need that. I'm going to give the last comment of the day to Evelyn Gatlin. White men just want to be with white men. This is Sparta. <laughs> hey, yeah. If you look back on Damn. that history. Y'all went that. hard to paint on that shit. Well, if you look at, Fuck. and we got, we got like a minute and a half, but if you look at the world of fashion uh, and, and, you know, the kind of pinnacle of, of white woman sexiness, it's, no ass, flat chest. <laughs> the pinnacle, the pinnacle of white woman sex. Yeah, it's like no ass. They want little boy bodied women sometimes. And I'm like, okay, Evelyn, I think you might be on to something. Uh, that being said, we got a minute left. Savage. Wow. It's Friday, guys. Make sure you relax this weekend. Get something. Good. Oh, yeah. Like, Take care of yourself this weekend. Yeah, man. And yeah, we'll be, be back safe. Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific Center. Right, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Also, but, but we have to always remind you, Tuesday, uh, it's actually 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sometimes we do, uh, it's basically called Savage AF After Dark. So after we're going to be doing dark, some of those. After dark. after dark, after dark, you know what I'm saying? And then it's dark, and then we do the thing, and then we tell the thing. And all the white women that don't want to watch our show no more, hey, hey, we're just telling you the truth. Yeah. You can't help that. The truth hurts. Truth you know hurts. what I'm saying? I, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm give one more comment because it's 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 there. Sorry, Evelyn Gatlin. I, I, the last one is going to JRA NYC. Proud boys and poles. I'm just gonna combine that and call them pole boys. Yeah, which AJ. Yay. 
The pole boys are coming to your town. Hey. Get ready. Have fun this weekend, y'all. Cheers, man. Savage AF. Have fun this weekend. Y'all be safe. Fuck your Savage AF.